everybody, welcome back. Today's video is going to be my December favorites. Crazy that this is the last favorites of 2015. We're just gonna move past that because that will freak me out. But this is actually my second time trying to film this video today. I filmed this video this afternoon and then I walked away from it. I started doing stuff around my house. I started picking up all that jazz. Of course, I immediately derobed and put my hair up in a bun and changed my outfit to a sweater, which is what I'm comfortable in. And then I imported the footage on my computer and I was like, I hate this. I hate this so much. I hated the video that I filmed today. I didn't like the way my hair looked. I didn't like the way I looked. I have like the worst foggy brain today. I'm stuttering over all my words. I'm just such a mess. So bear with me. I'm hoping that by being like in my natural habitat, meaning my yoga pants and my sweatshirt and my messy bun, maybe I will be a little bit more in the flow of things because it's just that day. It is that day. You ladies know what day I'm talking about. I have a little friend right here. My brain is so foggy. I'm crampy, I'm crabby, and I'm just like, <sighs> so watch out. I got a couple screws loose in my head today, okay? So this should be a fun video. Let's jump into it. This isn't even a favorite, but this is just sitting here, and I'm super excited to try this. This is that Nivea Men Aftershave Balm, and I got the sensitive one because so many people on YouTube are talking about this. I feel like Nikki Tutorials was the first one to mention this and now tons of people are using it and I'm like so excited to try this as a primer. Um, I actually am nervous though because when I was younger, Nivea body lotion used to give me a rash. So I'm hoping that that does not happen on my face, but we shall see. I don't know that's random, but I just got it in the mail and I'm sitting here and I'm like, I can't wait to try you. The first thing I wanna talk about is a foundation that I have been using for a really long time, but I don't know if I've actually talked about it in a favorites video. Knowing me, I'm sure I have and I'm just like, but anyways, this is the EX1 Invisaware Liquid Foundation. This foundation is effing bomb. That's what it is. It's incredible. So it claims to be invisible wear. I'm never going to say that a foundation is actually invisible because if you're putting something on your face, it's just you're going to be able to see it in some sense. You know what I'm saying? But I will say that this is probably one of the most invisible foundations that I have ever used in the sense that it looks like skin. It looks like healthy skin. It looks luminous and it looks fresh and it looks natural but yet it is extremely high coverage which i love so it definitely goes on a medium to a full coverage depending what you use to apply it what technique you're using it's just so beautiful it's thick and it's creamy and it just looks so natural while evening everything out and making your skin one tone this is what i'm wearing today i've been using it for months I actually purchased this based on other YouTubers' recommendations. I can't, there's a fuzzy, I can't think of the YouTubers right now. Of course I can't, because I'm literally, my brain is not on today. I think Amanda Ensing was one of them though. I might be completely wrong, and Amanda Ensing could be watching this thinking like, what the hell are you talking about? But I'm pretty sure that I'm, at <coughs> <coughs> Whew. I'm pretty sure that Amanda Ensing was one of them to talk about this foundation. It's bomb, thanks girl, love you. Okay, so next foundation, oh my God, you guys, I love this so much. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. I've used this now six times and I am in love with it. This is hands down my favorite drugstore foundation now. If you guys are one of my OG subscribers, then you would remember back in the day, I was obsessed with the original L'Oreal True Match Lumi. The L'Oreal True Match, just the basic one, I was never really a fan. I thought it was a little bit too dry for me, but when the Lumi one came out, oh my God, I was obsessed. And the glass bottle and like the pump, I went through probably like five or six bottles of that in like a year and a half period. I was so in love. My skin actually developed a sensitivity to it though. And if I wear it two days in a row, I will get little bumps all over my cheeks. Not cute. So this one, I have no sensitivity to whatsoever. It's not irritating my skin, which I'm so thankful for because I absolutely love this formula. It is so hydrating, so ultra moisturizing. It's just creamy, it's luminous, but there's no glitter, there's no shimmer. A tiny bit goes a long way. I love the application of this cushion. It's super high pigmented, a tiny bit will cover your entire cheek. So like if you're gonna take a beauty blender or a brush, you literally just boop right in there and go directly on the face. It's just so beautiful. So if you are dry to normal skin and you are looking for a really beautiful, luminous, dewy foundation from the drugstore, look no further, so good. So sticking with the skin, oh my God, this concealer is so bomb. And you know, like if you know me at all, it is so difficult for me to be impressed by a concealer. I am so picky when it comes to concealers. I have been doing YouTube on and off for four years. And I say on and off because when I first started YouTube, I only uploaded like a couple videos and then I stopped for like five or six months. Cause I was like, this is not going to work. What am I doing? Stupid idea, Jacqueline. And then I decided months later to come back. Um, 
very happy about the decision. Very glad I came back. But uh, <laughs> anyways, in that four year time period since I started YouTube, I've only loved two concealers, which is the MAC Pro Longwear and the Urban Decay Naked Skin. I believe those are the only two that I've actually, those are the only two that I've been like ride or die for. So the fact that I have another one that I am in love with is just crazy because I'm so picky about concealer and this is bomb. So this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I don't know if it's available on the market yet because they sent all of the colors to everyone on their PR list, but it didn't come with a note. So I don't know when they release, if they did release, I don't know anything about it, but it did have a pretty wide range of shades and it's super duper creamy. And the thing I love about this is you really get your money's worth because the tiniest bit goes such a long way. Like a little tiny drop covers so much area. It's so creamy, it's so moisturizing, which is amazing for that under eye area. Because if you have a concealer that dries too dry, it can make that under eye area look really crepey and actually kind of age you, which is the only complaint that I would ever have about the MAC Pro Longwear. This one is so moisturizing and so creamy. I do set it with a powder though, because I set everything with a powder and that technique, I have not had any issues with. So another face product that I have, which is an oldie but a goodie, I have this powder in every shade because I've used it for everything at one point. Bronzing, contouring, highlighting, face powder, eyeshadow, I just, it's such a good powder. So this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. It looks like this. Natural just means that it's just a regular face powder because the MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes also come in highlights, but this is just the regular natural face powder. I'm currently using the shade Medium, and I am using this to set my foundation on a day-to-day -day basis. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. So back in the day, all, my whole life up until recently, I've never set my entire face with powder. I'll do foundation, and then I'll under eyes, I'll set that with powder, and maybe my chin and my forehead, but that's it. I'll leave like the cheeks blank and the nose blank. Well, recently I have changed that method because my foundation has been wearing off throughout the day, and I just don't like how it looks. Sometimes it can separate a little bit and just look a little blotchy, but recently I've been setting it with powder, and I just love the outcome so much more. It's just so flawless, which is weird because I've, Always, my entire like time that I've done makeup on clients, I set every client with powder, but yet myself, I don't. That's weird, right? I've been using the Laura Mercier translucent powder the past couple of months, and I'm so done with this. I'm done. Like It just makes me too dry. I love the way it looks, but it's too dry on my already dry skin, and throughout the day, I can feel the dryness, and it's just like, like it just doesn't feel good. If you are oily, this will be your best friend for setting your face. But for me, I need something with luminosity and hydration, and that is this powder. This powder has such a sheer, light coverage to it. Like, even if I dig in so hard and like just swatch, 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 you'll see like how sheer that coverage is. And when it blends out, it like completely disappears. This is a foundation, sorry, not foundation. This is a powder that I used to recommend to clients that were like 15 years old when they would come into the Mac store and ask for like a first foundation. This is what I would recommend to young girls because it's just such light coverage and it's so lightweight and it looks so natural. It's a beautiful, luminous, very natural looking powder without shimmer, without glitter. It's just gorgeous. So I've been using this with a powder brush, this powder brush right here to set my entire face after I apply my foundation. And I just love it. I love it. I have not been this happy with my foundation in a long time. I just think it looks so flawless. So MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. Woo, we talked about that for a while. So Anastasia Beverly Hills came out with new shadows this month and I have three of them that I am absolutely in love with. And the first one I used in my last tutorial, which is the shade Fudge. Oh my God, this brown is such perfection. It's just perfection. You can use it on the outer corner of your eye. You can use it under your eyes. This is what I have under my lash line right now. It's just such a beautiful pigmented dark brown and it's the perfect amount of warmth. It's not so warm that it's red or orange, but it's not cool either. It's just that perfect dark fudgy matte brown. So good, that's such a staple. The second one is Aubergine, which is a beautiful purple shade. So what I love about this is that it's not a true frost, but it's not a true matte. It's like a really perfect luster right in between the two formulas. And for some reason, when I swatch it on my hand, I don't like it as much as when I swatch it on my actual eye, but it looks like this. So you can see it's not like purple, purple. It's not like in your face. What I've actually been doing is putting fudge on my lower lash line and then taking a pencil brush with aubergine and blending out fudge with this. And these two colors mixed together are just such a beautiful, like purpley brown. It's just so gorgeous. Last but not least, this color should just be named Jacqueline. Let's get real. <laughs> 
Do I even need to say anything else? This color is perfection. Like when I got this in the mail, I was like, are you kidding? This is incredible. It's pretty much MAC coppering on steroids. Look at that color. Oh, this color is everything. Good job, Claudia. Good job, Anastasia. This is gorgeous. And I honestly feel like their eyeshadow quality has gone up since they first launched. So like I definitely see a difference, which is very common because when you first launch a product, like it takes a minute to really like see what the consumer is loving and see like things you want to fix. And I just think that their shadows are definitely higher quality than they were when they initially launched. And I love them. Okay, so now I have a few lip products I want to talk about. And the first one are these new NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipsticks. I, sorry, I'm showing them too backwards. I purchased these on Ulta.com at the same time that I purchased the L'Oreal True Match Cushion Foundation. And I only got two shades, but I'm going to get more because I love these. Now, I have worn both. The pink one I am wearing right now, but I mixed it with something that... I'm working on and I'm not allowed to talk about. Um, but this, these, these formulas are just so fun and different and innovative and I love them. So basically when I got them, I'm like, okay, NYX liquid suede cream lipsticks. Like what are these gonna be like? So basically what it is, is it's like a crossbreed between a lipstick and a liquid lipstick. So it's not so matte and so dry that you get butthole lips and you know what butthole lips are. Like when you go like this and you got like that big ring because liquid lipsticks are so dry and it's just inevitable. These aren't going to give you that, but yet they're not creamy to the point that they're going to give you shine. So they are matte, but they feel like suede on your lips. They're really cool. And I have a feeling that a lot of cosmetic brands are going to be coming out with this formula in 2016 for those of you who cannot get on board with the liquid lipstick trend, because I was very late to get on board because I'm just a glossy girl. I love glossy lips. I think they're so feminine. I think they're so pretty. I do love the matte lips, but I'm very, very picky about what liquid lip formula I wear because some of them are so dang dry that your lips like crack throughout the day and it's just not a good look. So this is the other color. I was wearing this earlier today, right here. Beautiful. So the dark one is 03 and the baby pink one that I'm wearing is 09. This next product is honestly so good. It's like one of those products that's so good that I don't even really know how to talk about it because like it doesn't even need like an explanation. It's just that good. And this is a Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick. I am so happy for Jeffree Star. I just think he is so cool. I think that his packaging is amazing. I think his product is amazing. I just, he's such an inspiration. He's someone who just puts out quality products. He's just so badass. I really look up to him. I think it's amazing what he is doing. So this is one of his Velour Liquid Lipsticks in the shade Androgyny. This shade sells itself. It doesn't even need an introduction. It's so beautiful. It truly is the perfect mauve purplish brown shade and it's still wearable. It's not too dark that it looks like poo poo. It's not too purple. It's just gorgeous. Every time I wear this, strangers are asking me what I'm wearing. All of my friends have purchased this shade because it's just so beautiful. Everyone in my life pretty much owns this shade and they're all different skin colors and it just looks good on everyone. He did such a bomb job with the formula and this color. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's such a good formula. It's not too thick. It's not too moussey because sometimes Liquid lips are too moussey and they're hard to apply and then they get so chunky and they like flake off. You know what I'm talking about if you wear a liquid lipstick. This one is the perfect formula. It's like nice and watery. It's not too thin though, so it's not patchy. It's just beautiful. Kathleen Lights teamed up with Ofra Cosmetics again to create Havana Nights and I have worn this, I would say androgyny in this, it's been a tie. I have worn them both equally as much but when I got Havana Nights in the mail, I wore it that day with absolutely no makeup all around town running errands because I was like, it's so beautiful. I don't even care. I'm just wearing it. Like it's such a gorgeous, deep kind of blood red. I love it so much. Congratulations again to Kathleen. That girl is just doing so bomb right now. I'm so happy for her. And this is just so beautiful. But the formula itself is incredible. So moisturizing. It takes hours until it starts breaking up and getting dry because every lips, liquid lipstick is going to get dry. You can't beat that, but it takes hours for this one to start getting dry. Like it's just so good. So the color is good. The formula is good. I love it. If you guys are looking for an amazing matte, like blood deep burgundy, get Havana Nights. Seriously. It is absolutely gorgeous. I have to give a shout out to this product because it is so good. And I feel like people don't talk about it as much as it should be talked about because it's such a great product. And this is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner. I use these glitter liners 
all the time. Whenever it's a special occasion, it's like a birthday or New Year's Eve or Christmas or whatever it is, a Tuesday afternoon, I am all about these glitter liners. They're my absolute favorite formula out there. I've tried a bunch of them and some of them are like super duper chunky. Some of them sting my eyes and they dry out really easy. This one is my personal favorite. Now, of course, if you get this in your eye, it's gonna sting, but this does not irritate my eyes whatsoever when it's on my lids or on my skin. This is what I have on my top lid right now. I just literally took it and just went like this and just dabbed it right on my eyeshadow. I'm looking around. If you're a beginner, it can be very intimidating to work with loose glitters like this because they fall down all over your face. You gotta use glitter glue. It can be a little messy, a little sloppy. I get it. And then you can have glitter all over your face and you're like, great, where do I go from here? That's why I love these so much because you literally just paint it on. It doesn't remove your eyeshadow like some do. It's just beautiful. I want them to come out with even more colors because they have a good amount of colors, but I want like 60 colors. Like I want them in every shade. I want them in 3D. Like I'm obsessed with these. So I have a new body butter that I have been in love with. You know me and my body butters. I'm obsessed with anything moisturizing and this is so bomb. I have to say though, my number one is still Blissful Body, but this comes in right at number two. And this is the Kiehl's Soy Milk and Honey Whipped Body Butter. And it says that it is with Shea and Jojoba Butters in it. It's good. It is so good and I love the texture. I am very weird about textures. When it comes to textures, on my hands, when it comes to textures of food that I eat, I definitely have like sensory issues when it comes to certain textures. And this one is like heaven. Every time I put my hands into this tub, I'm like, oh, I love the way it feels because it's whipped. So it's very different than a typical body butter. And I love the way it smells. To me, it smells like almond butter. I know that it says it has shea and jojoba, but it smells like almond to me. It's just so yummy and it's so ultra moisturizing. And my husband loves it too. Yes, me and John, we are moisturizing people. If you come into this home and you have dry skin, you will be leaving with moisturized skin. That's what we do around here. We moisturize. All right, so I have two things left. And the first thing I will talk about is this perfume by Lanvin. I have no idea how to pronounce it and I'm not even gonna try because I will totally offend an entire culture by me trying to pronounce the name of this. So I will just, Put the name down below in the description bar and I'll find a link for it so you guys can look at it for yourself. But I actually purchased this perfume three years ago when I was working at MAC and I used it for like a month or two and then I just lost it in my collection and I found it in this room when I was cleaning out a couple of weeks ago and now I've been using it all month long and I am just so, oh God, I am just so in love with this perfume. It's such a fresh daytime scent but there's something different about it. It's not like a typical perfume. It's just like sexy and feminine, but just so fresh at the same time. And every single time that I spray this on, John always compliments me. And the other perfume that John always compliments is Marc Jacobs Daisy. So they kind of are similar in the, scent, in the sense that they both have a very fresh scent, but they're very, very different. But he is like obsessed with this. Every time I spray it on, he's like, oh my God. And he keeps hugging me. Cause he's like, it just smells so amazing. And I'm like, okay, fine, it's love. No, keep going. Okay, so last thing I want to talk about uh, is something that I would actually like never even talk about here on my channel, but because every single time I am wearing these sunglasses, whether it's on Snapchat and a picture, or even when I'm just out running errands, if I'm like at the gas station, people are always asking me about these glasses. So I thought I would just mention them so everyone knows. These are by the designer Mew Mew, and I purchased mine at Nordstrom, but I'm sure you can find them like wherever designer sunglasses are sold. But on the side, they have this glitter that looks kind of like broken glass that goes all the way down. And then in the front, it's kind of like a men's style shade. It's kind of similar to like that, uh, the Wayfarers, I think they're called by Ray-Ban. I might be totally wrong, but they're kind of similar. And then right here, it's an ombre effect on the lens. It's like light that fades up to super dark black. I just love them. These have been like one of the only pairs of sunglasses I have worn for the past couple of months because I just think they're so cool. They're edgy and they're glam at the same time. They're just so fun. So Mew Mew and I got mine at Nordstrom. I will find them and I'll put them down below for you guys somewhere if you're interested so you guys can check them out for yourselves because I know that I get questions about them every single time I wear them. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you've made it to this point, you deserve an award for dealing with my foggy PMS brain. I love you so much. You know what? Just bring it in for the real thing. Give me a hug. Get over here. Can you smell my perfume? Smells good, right? Told you. All right, you guys, please leave me your favorite products for the month of December in the comment section down below. Seriously, 
That has been my favorite thing about filming favorites videos. Ever since I got like 5,000 subscribers here on YouTube, I've always looked so forward to filming my favorites videos because having the interaction with you guys in the comment section, just talking about beauty products and exchanging different ideas and reviews on products, I just love it so much. Like that's what this channel is all about. So. Leave me things that you would like to see me use, things that you'd like me to do a review on, products you've been loving, products you've been hating, whatever you want. I will be down there in the comment section taking notes from all of you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye.